Well, I've been waiting for this for a week. Um, it's a regular feature now. When uh, we read from Carl's diary, Carl decided to keep a diary. He's gone through with it. I could see it there. It's massive. It's a huge desk diary that he has to carry around uh, with him. And uh, he, uh, he's, the pages are getting full up. You're, you're really keeping to this. Yeah. Right, it, this is uh, extracts from Carl's diary. Did podcast and went for an Italian with Ricky and Steve. Italian place is good. We've been there a few times. I always have the same thing, spaghetti. Can't remember what everyone else had. Last time we went there, Steve had little octopuses with pasta. You could see that they were octopuses. They hadn't been cut up or anything. My rule is that I only eat stuff that looks nice when it's alive. <laughs> a cow, a chicken, some fish. An octopus is an odd-looking thing alive. Even worse when it's dead and limp. It looks like it just shouldn't have been sat in the spaghetti. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I agree with that. <laughs> Ricky drew another picture of my head. We've given a few of them away as prizes, but he draws so many of them that they won't be worth as much anymore. <laughs> Everyone will eventually have one. Like those pictures of a boy crying that caused houses to burn down in the 1980s. What does that mean? What are you talking about? It's just some kid. Uh, my auntie Nora had one, and it was just like a kid with, like, a blue jumper on, and he's... It's like a painting, not a photo. Yeah, exactly, yeah. And he's just crying. Like a chocolate box. It's really awful, sort of sugary. And sort what of. happened is it, they found out that a load of houses were being set on fire or burst into flames, whatever. And the weird thing was... Oh, it's bollocks. Every house that burnt down had that photo. Yeah, because every house had that picture in the <laughs> fucking 70s and 80s. <laughs> Idiot. It's like, we're linking it to sinks. Every house that's ever burnt down had a sink. <laughs> You're talking shit mm. again. Yeah. Carry on. Wednesday. Saw a homeless bloke. I'm surprised that no companies have thought about sponsoring the homeless. Something like a clothing company. Give them some clothes that have an advert on the back. Everyone's a winner. Good idea. Not bad, is it? Got on the tube to Camden, read in a free newspaper that hedgehogs could be gone by 2025. I think I've seen more dead hedgehogs than the live ones anyway, so I don't think I'll miss them. <laughs> Went round to Ricky's house and had a game of pool. It should have been nice and relaxing, but Jane gave me some cake, and Ricky said, I can't play pool if my hands are all sticky from there, It was the sugar. It was, and it wasn't that either. After he'd finished it, they weren't just sticky, he was licking his fingers, sucking his fingers off, and then was going to pick up pool cues and touch things, and I was thinking, go and wash your hands after licking your hands. You're not a cat. This turned into an argument when I said I didn't want to wash my hands. Why didn't he? Disgusting. He goes for a piss all the time without washing his hands and then squeezes my head. I know I'd prefer to have lemon cake crumbs on my head than knob juice. I was going to do a crossword, but I'm tired and have learnt enough today. What have you learned? Well, the stuff about hedgehogs and that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Was on my way to my mates and I got on a train. Got close to a station, but realised I needed a wee. Was about to go in a cubicle when a blind man with a dog who was bumbling his way through the walkway came around. I said, are you after the toilet? He said, yeah. I said, it's on your right. I shouldn't have let him go first as he took ages and it would be my stop soon. The dog waited outside the cubicle. I was going to stroke it, but then I remembered someone telling me that you shouldn't. Why, why not? Is. Because something to do with uh, the owner should be the only one who who sort of deals with that dog, and you shouldn't... F sort well, you of shouldn't stroke it, because you'll cover it in fucking lemon cake. <laughs> no, but, but just because, you know, if you if you stroke it and that, it, it might, like, like me and want to go off with me, and he'll come out and be lost and stuff. Yeah. 